Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix. Arma 3 is having a crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, laggy, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one, we have to do a simple restart. So to do a simple restart, just go over here in the start icon, click over here in the start icon. Now move over here in the power icon, do a restart. Once a restart is done, just try launching the game. This is what we have to do as the first step. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So first we just need to go over here, right click, go to the properties, go to installer file and make sure where the game is installed. Now it is quite possible that the game is installed on D. So what I need to do is just go over here, close everything, go back to the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk D, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to Arma 3. Now from here, I have to scroll down and I have to check whether the application. So if we check that this is the .exe, so this is the .exe, so I have to launch the game from here. Instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching it from here. That might be working. Still, if you are having the trouble, we need to run the game in the compatibility mode and also we need to run in the Windows. So right click over here, go to show more options, go to the properties. Now from here, go to compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Set this to Windows 7 as the first one. Go for apply. Or you can set this to Windows 8. Go for apply. Make sure and click on run this program as administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. And once everything is being successfully done, just close this, go back and try Elongi the game. After trying with the still if you are having the trouble, we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now navigate to documents. From here go to my games. So right now you can see there is a folder for Atma Reforged. Uh, this is Atma 3, not Reforged. We have for the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. So if you have a separate folder for Atma 3, just delete the respective folder. And keep in mind, you will be using all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Even it works a lot. So it is worth a lot. So you can delete it and you have to start from the scratch. Next one, you need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. Just click on this one. Now from here, what we need to do is just click on system and security. Go to Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Arma 3. So keep scrolling down. Over here, you can see. So most probably the game might be added. So if the game is not added, don't worry, we need to add it by default. Just click on change setting. Go to allow another app. Go for browse. Navigate to this PC. Go to local disk D. Steam library. Steam amps. Go to common. Select the game. Scroll down. And this is the application. So we need to add the application from here. Just go for open and add it. So once the it is added, Arma 3 is added, you have to make sure one thing, you have to put a check on both the boxes that is private and public. Now try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to close all the external USB devices if it is connected. For example, any external joystick or any other peripheral is connected, just unplug everything. Once everything is successfully unplugged, try launch the game. Next one is all over nothing, but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. Just go over here, search for system configuration. Just click on this one. Now from here, navigate to services, go for disable or could hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. Do a restart. Once a restart is done, just try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to disable the Steam overlay. Just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. As you can see, enable the Steam overlay while in game. Yes, actually turn it on. Turn this off. Try launch the game. Next one, we have to give commands the launch option. First, try with BX11. We have to try with BX11. If BX11 is not working, try with BX12. If BX12 is not working, try with B3, B2. We have to try with B3, D2. Stay if they are not working. Either BX11 is not working, BX12 is not working, B3, D2 is not working. Just remove everything before you are proceeding to the next step and keep it nice. Now move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here, right click, 
we do the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so over here if you can check there are 42 apps is running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why you end up in having the crashing issue so just go over here remove all the unwanted things for example reward tuner msa afterburner discord gaming services epic games launcher if anything is running just remove everything once everything is successfully remote or you can just go over here go over here and go to the end that us remove it like this once everything is successfully remote just close this and go back and try logic the game next one is all about nothing but we need to update the windows make sure the windows is up to date and also we need to increase the virtual memory just go over here search for view advanced system setting and we have to click on advanced system settings just click on this one go to the advanced settings advanced go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed so the game is installed on b so you have to select this one and go for the custom size so initial size is 1.5 times throttle ramp and the maximum size is three times throttle ramp so we just need to go over here we need a calculator so just type your ram now we need to type your ram so first, according to my PC's configuration, which is 16 GB, I have to type this. Multiply it with the 1024, that brings me this value, and I have to multiply it with 1.5, that is 24576, and copy this value, and I have to paste it. Next one, I have to go to the maximum size, 16 GB, multiplied with 1024, and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 49152, and we have to copy this, and we have to paste it. Once every value is being set, we just need to close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card, which is very important. So I'll be providing a link in the description to the NVIDIA. So if you're on the NVIDIA, I'll be providing this. So select everything according to the configuration. So I have selected here Geoforce. Select Geoforce 16 series. Geoforce GT is 1650. You have to select Windows 11 if you're on Windows 11 and go for Find. And right now, as you can see, once you go for the find, you'll be getting the latest updated versions of graphics card. So just scroll down and download this one. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here, go to the graphics, select everyone. Now from here, go to 5000 series, go over here and go to submit. And if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. You can also try install the Microsoft Visual C++ from here. And if the system is based on this one, if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, we can try downloading this one. Try downloading this one and install and restart as a mandatory and try judging the game. After trying with this, if you're still having the issue, what we need to do is we just need to do a few more steps. That is one among the very important one as we need to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties verify go to install it file and there is an option just tap on this one so what happens is this is going to cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step but this is kind of lengthy and it's going to take a bunch of time so we need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what we have to do next
And once all the files are successfully evaluated, just close this and try launch the game. Last and least one, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here, go to manage and uninstall the game. And we have to reinstall it back. But there is one thing that you have to take care of that is you're not reinstalling back on the B because the game is right now on B. Either you have to try C. So you don't have space, so we have to try C. So the E. That's what you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. And also don't forget to visit our website, gameseries.com. That's it. Bye-bye.